A multi-billion pound project to build eight warships for the Royal Navy is now well underway on the Clyde. HMS Glasgow was afloat for the first time in the early hours of the 3rd of December. And the following morning was towed back up the Clyde to the Scotstoun Yard where she will spend the next few years being completed. The Type 26 frigate, also known as City Class Frigate, is a class of frigates being built for the United Kingdom's Royal Navy, with variants also being built for the Australian and Canadian navies. The program, known as the Global Combat Ship, was launched by the British Ministry of Defence to partially replace the Navy's 13 Type 23 frigates, and for export. Its primary role is to conduct advanced anti-submarine warfare missions while supporting air defence and general purpose operations. The Type is the first naval platform shared between Australia, Canada and the United Kingdom since the pre-Second World War Tribal Class Destroyer. The Type 26 has a broad appeal. Britain could regain a foothold in the export market where it has so long trailed behind other European nations. This in turn may help reinvigorate the UK's weak warship building sector, with all the strategic benefits and opportunities that would give the Royal Navy in the long term. On the 2nd of July 2017, Bay Systems announced it had been awarded a C £3.7 billion contract by the UK MOD to manufacture the first three Type 26 ships. The cost for the current eight ships was quoted as £8 billion in 2016. Three ships were ordered in 2017 for £3.7 billion. The Global Combat Ship is designed with modularity and flexibility in mind to enhance versatility across the full range of operations, including maritime security, counter-piracy, counter-terrorist and humanitarian and disaster relief operations. The adaptable design will facilitate through life support, ensuring upgrades can easily be undertaken as technology develops. In July 2021 it was revealed in response to a parliamentary question that it was intended that the Type 26 frigate would be equipped with a new cruise anti-ship weapon. The Type 26 has a broad appeal. Built for the Royal Navy, an acknowledged world leader in anti-submarine warfare, it will undoubtedly be a superb submarine hunting platform and a worthy successor to the proven Type 23. Furthermore, the spacious hull with large mission bay gives it a general purpose capability, able to operate in a wide variety of roles that could be tailored to the needs of individual nations. There is also plenty of room to fit alternative equipment that export customers may prefer. In June 2018, the Australian government announced that it had selected a modified version of the Type 26 platform as the planned replacement for its Anzac-class frigate. This will see the Royal Australian Navy procure up to nine Hunter-class frigates, which will be constructed by Bay Systems Australia at ASC's shipyard in Osborne, South Australia. Bay Systems recently unveiled a proposal to add additional VLS cells to the Hunter-class frigates being built for the Royal Australian Navy. The Royal Navy's version of the Global Combat Ship is referred to as the Type 26 Frigate. Like the Type 23 Frigate it will replace. The Global Combat Ship will have an acoustically quiet hull for anti-submarine warfare and fitted with an ultra-electronics Type 2150 next-generation bow sonar and a powerful sonar 2087 towed array. The Global Combat Ship will also be fitted with guns of various calibers and Sea Scepter air defense missiles launched via 48 Vertical Launching System or VLS canisters. Additionally, 24 Mark 41 strike-length VLS cells are positioned forward of the bridge. On the 8th of July 2021, it was confirmed that the Anglo-French FCASW anti-ship missile would be brought into service on the Type 26, which is likely to be launched from the Mark 41 VLS. When the first Type 26 frigate becomes operational it will introduce another gun type to Royal Navy service. Bay Systems' renowned MK 45127mm 5-inch gun is already proven with navies worldwide and will be a considerable upgrade on the existing medium caliber gun. In naval use the 5-inch gun are seen as having a good balance of firepower in relation to its size. Typically installed on destroyers and as secondary armament for battleships. The MK-45 is a mostly automated weapon, with 20 ready-use rounds held in the loader drum immediately below the gun. However, in sustained firing operations, 
The gun needs a six-person crew, a gun captain, a panel operator, and four ammunition loaders working in the magazine manually placing rounds into the hoist. The Type 26 will have a fully automated ammunition handling system fitted in the magazine, capable of sustained fire while operated by just one sailor. Although slightly larger, more robust and a heavier hitter. Out of the box, the MK-45 does not differ dramatically from the Royal Navy's existing medium-caliber gun, but new ammunition developments offer ways to considerably extend its reach and accuracy. Overall MK-45 has demonstrated exceptional reliability in service and is a highly mature system. When the first Type 26 frigate becomes operational it will introduce another gun type to Royal Navy service. The global combat ship will be equipped with a NATO standard bay system's 5-inch MK-45 naval gun. Smaller guns include two Phalanx CIWS, two 30mm DS-30M MK-2 automated small caliber guns and a number of miniguns and general purpose machine guns. The global combat ship is designed with modularity and flexibility in mind to enhance versatility across the full range of operations including maritime security, counter-piracy, counter-terrorist and humanitarian and disaster relief operations. The adaptable design will facilitate through life support, ensuring upgrades can easily be undertaken as technology develops. It was revealed that the Type 26 frigates will be equipped with the future cruise anti-ship weapon from 2028. This confirms there has been positive progress with the future cruise anti-ship weapon project and the Royal Navy will be able to field a ship-based land attack and much improved anti-shipping capability sooner than expected. It is a positive step to see a firm commitment to target dates, the planning assumption for service entry on the Type 26 Frigate 2028. So far the MOD has spent £95 million on the project, with the French contributing a similar amount. It will comprise a critical strategic asset for the two largest militaries in Europe with power projection aspirations. This also helps allay concerns that the first Royal Navy's Type 26 frigates would become operational and have nothing but fresh air in their MK-41 silo. Further good news on the Type 26 frigate project was contained in the June 2021 NAO report, the first ship HMS Glasgow will be in service a year ahead of the 2027 date originally announced. A multi-billion pound project to build eight warships for the Royal Navy is now well underway on the Clyde. HMS Glasgow was afloat for the first time in the early hours of the 3rd of December and the following morning was towed back up the Clyde to the Scotstoun Yard, where she will spend the next few years being completed.